Jennifer, do you love me? Is that supposed to be a question? Please answer me. Do you truly love me? Of course you know I do. Okay, that's good. Can you die for me? As in real death? I don't pray for such to happen. But if something happened right now and you are asked to die for me, can you do it? Of course I can die for you. Even in my next world. Hmm. I don't know the verb I can use to qualify you. But have it on your mind that I'm madly in love with you. And I can go any length to protect you. Even if it warrants me to die for you, believe me, I will do it. So, you know they said prevention is other than cure. In order to prevent this, let's do a blood covenant. A blood covenant? Yes, a blood covenant. Isn't that risky? It's not risky. We need to do the blood covenant in order not to leave each other. But I don't think doing a blood covenant is the best way to keep our relationship till marriage. Are there no other better ways to do this? There are other ways, but blood covenant will keep us united and glued to each other forever. Please, I don't know anything about blood covenant. And I can't go into what I know nothing about. Please come up with another idea. For blood covenant, no, I can't do it. Please, just free your mind. I promise you that the moment we are done with this blood covenant, our love will grow stronger and nothing can break it. Just me and you forever feel death. Hello, Caleb. Hello, my sugar, my baby, my heart, my left kidney. Please, this is not the reason why I called you. What happened, my love? Are you alright? I'm in pain right now. Please tell me what is wrong with you. Please, I have a very important question to ask you. Yes, love, I'm listening. Breaking my virginity, is it part of the blood covenant? This your question looks suspicious. Please answer me. Please, why do you ask? Hope there is no problem. Please answer my question and don't get me angry. I'm in the toilet right now. I don't want anyone to know about this discussion. So answer my question. If you are in the toilet, then make use of the toilet. Or are you afraid of the toilet? You think this is a joke, right? Okay, fine. The enjoyment we had in bed was not part of the blood covenant. Though, it was a very vital scene which would have been very detrimental if we had skipped. You call that enjoyment. Oh, my body is paining me. I have not been myself since after that blood covenant. It's as if my spirit has been separated from my body. I had different kinds of nightmares yesterday. I have lost my peace. My mind can't really go off the blood covenant and every other thing that happened that day. Please, what do you think would be the cause? My dear, anything you see happening to you right now is because you allowed it. Please wave off those negative thoughts. Keep your mind fixed and focused towards achieving our goals. Make sure you keep yourself busy because sometimes staying idle can make you to start thinking and nursing evil in your heart. And for the blood covenant, we have done it and God will help us to keep the rules. One thing you should always have at the back of your mind is this. I will never leave you. I must marry you and I must always love you. You have my words. Please, don't be afraid. Hmm. Thanks for this wonderful counseling. Or should I call it an advice? You have healed my heart injuries to some extent. Yes, love. If I don't care for you, now wait till I gain. So, my baby, hope no guy is disturbing your life. Not really. If any guy starts disturbing you, please don't delay to report him to me. I will abandon anything I'm doing in school and I will come back to deal with him. So when again will I see you? Um, I might be coming back after each semester. Or probably you might be coming to visit me in school. That's a good idea. So how many years will you spend in school? Everything should be five years. Why five years? The normal duration is four years, but I will go for youth service. So everything will round up to five years. So I have to wait for you for a good five years before you get married to me. Yes, dear. 
You just have to wait. Will I still look attractive to you after five years? That's why we did the blood covenant. So I won't look elsewhere. Hmm. This is a very big tax. Baby, don't worry. We are in this together. All you need to do is just to keep to the rules. I hope you still remember the rules guiding the blood covenant. Yes, I remembered. But I would like you to tell me again. Okay. We agreed never to leave each other. We must marry each other. No cheating. And we can't have sex with any other person except the both of us. We must be there for each other no matter what. No man or woman shall come between us. We must always tell ourselves the truth. The only thing that can separate us is death. And anyone that breaks the rule shall die. Anytime I remember all this, I will become afraid. Jennifer, there is no fear in love. Don't worry. We are in this together. I want to ask you a very important question. Okay, ask. I'm not praying for evil, but what about rape? You mean if you are being raped? Yes, what about that? Such a thing will never happen. I have told you to always think positively. How far, Caleb? I've been observing you. Ever since we started living together as roommates, I've not for one day seen you with a girl. No girl has ever come to this house looking for you. Hope you're not a gay. Felix, you won't understand. Then make me to understand. You don't even have a girlfriend. My choice of gay is not in this campus. Wait, so you mean that none of these beautiful girls in this campus is qualified to be your girlfriend? I never said that. So what is stopping you from having a girlfriend? I'm okay, Felix. My choice of girl is not in this campus. Caleb, you better shut your eyes. This is higher institution and not a secondary school. Make sure you enjoy yourself now. Have as many girlfriends as possible. Sleep with as many as possible because after here, we won't have the opportunity to do so again. As for me, I have a target of sleeping with three girls per week. And you think you are doing yourself good? Don't worry. I know very soon you will need a girlfriend. And please, when you are in need of one, let me know. Because I have plenty of them to give. I know you are just pretending. And your time they give woman belly, bad boy like you, be acting as if you don't used to do. Do what? Do that thing, now. Huh? Now you sabi. So how is life? What's up with you? My dear, there's a serious problem between me and my parents. A serious problem? What's the problem? My parents are just on my neck. They want to get married. Haba! Tell them to give you more time. I just don't know what to do. I have rejected seven men that came asking for my hand in marriage. Seven men? Are you serious? Yes, dear. And my parents want me to get married at all costs. Please, Jennifer. I am here for you. What I need is just a little time to round up my program in school. And immediately I'm done with that, we will get married. You just need to talk to your parents. Let them understand that marriage is built on love. You can't just marry because they want you to marry. Make them to understand that you want to marry the one you love. I have tried explaining to them, but it seems I'm pouring water on a stone. They don't want to hear anything. Please, give them assurance that you will get married soon. Okay, dear. Just make it as fast as possible to do the necessary things. Don't worry, my dear. Very soon, we are going to become the latest couple in town. Please hurry up. I can't wait. Wow. So finally, I'm now a graduate. Oh, it wasn't an easy journey, but God saw me through. I can't hold my joy. I spent four years in school. I had eight semesters and 68 courses. I am the happiest person on earth right now.
The thing good for making these four years of yours a success. My dear, school is not easy. It is a difficult world entirely. If not the Lord who has been by my side, I don't think it will be possible for me to graduate from that school. So Alpha, what's your next plan? When are you taking me to the altar to say yes I do? <laughs> I know you must surely remind me. Yes, so... Or do you think it was easy for me to have waited for you? I passed through so many temptations from friends, my parents and others. I rejected 15 men in total. 15 men? Yes, 15 good men. Haba, this is serious. What do you have inside of you that attracted those 15 men? I believe there is something so spectacular about you. You can say that again. Anyway, I need to secure a job first. Work for like a period of one year before we can get married. No, I can't wait for an extra year. You don't need to wait until you have millions in your account before you get married. I have some money with me. Bring the little you have and I will add mine. Then we do a simple wedding. Wow! You want us to do a simple wedding? Yes! We just need to do a simple wedding. The most important thing is me becoming your wife. Oh, I can't love you less. First and foremost, we need to visit a hospital for checkup. We need to check our blood group and genotype. Now you are talking. So when are we going? Are you free tomorrow? Yes, I am. Okay, let's put it tomorrow then. Thank you for choosing our hospital. I also want to thank the both of you for taking this bold step of checking your blood group and genotype. Some people may not even care to carry out these tests and as a result, they may end up making a terrible mistake. Once again, thank you. You are welcome, doctor. So for how long have you been dating? For over four years. Wow, that's nice. Have you had any sexual intercourse together? Um, I think yes. Come on, give me a straightforward answer. Don't worry. Your information is safe with us. We don't disclose it to anyone. So I ask again, have you had any sexual intercourse together? Yes, doctor. Like how many times? Like three to five times. Do you normally release inside? No, doctor. Why? Because I wasn't ready to father a child. That's good. Okay, let me start with you, Caleb. Your blood group is AB positive and your genotype is AS. Then Jennifer, your blood group is A positive and your genotype is AS. Oh my god! Doctor, can AS marry AS? Yes, but they should be ready for the stress that comes from the marriage. When AS marries AS, the following are the possible genotype of their children. AA, AS, AS, SS. The probability of having AA and SS is 0 0.25. But AS is 0 0.5. There are no guarantee that any of your child will be AA or AS. They could all be SS, which is really dangerous. You might think to yourself, I can handle it, but you can't. Having a kid with sickle cell drains all the happiness in a marriage. So what's the need to get married to someone when there are pointers to problems in the future? As AS, the only person you can marry is AA. Don't negotiate your long-term happiness for a short-time passion. So Caleb and Jennifer, I will advise you to bring this relationship to an end. And thank God the sexual intercourse you had before did not result to pregnancy. Doctor, I waited for over five years just to get married to him. I rejected almost 15 men just because I was waiting for him. I received insults from my parents just because of him. Jennifer, I understand how you feel. But like I said before, don't negotiate your long-time happiness for a short-time passion. Both of you are not meant for each other. You can't marry him. Ah, doctor, you won't understand what we passed through. The temptations, the trials. Oh no, no, this can't be. Jennifer, please, listen to me. We are human. We are not God. We are limited in knowledge and we are bound to make mistakes. Let's sort this thing out. Let's set each other free. Love is all about forgiveness. We would have gone for tests before doing the blood covenant, but love covered our eyes. We allowed our emotions to rule us. This is the biggest lesson I will never forget whether dead or alive. Please, let's break the blood covenant. 
Okay, fine. If we should break the blood covenant, what happens to the damages it has caused in my life? And how sure are you that the blood covenant won't have effect on us even after breaking it? My advice is this. Forget about whatever the doctor told us. Let's go ahead and get married. You kept me for so long and caused many damages to me. No man will want to marry me if I should open up my mouth and tell them about the blood covenant and the things we did. So Caleb, I will never break the covenant with you. Remember the agreement we had while making the blood covenant. We said nothing can separate us apart from death. Or have you forgotten? Hmm. I'm just confused right now. Hello, Jennifer. This is Dr. Richard. Oh, Dr. Richard. Yes, Jimmy. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Are you? It's good to hear your voice again. Yes, sir. How is your family? We are fine. So you still have my number? Yes. Why would I? I cannot forget you in a hurry. And I hope there is no problem, sir. Not at all. I just called to inform you that my birthday is coming up next week. Wow. Happy birthday in advance, sir. Yeah, and I'm celebrating it in a very big way. So I call to officially invite you to the birthday party. Wow. You have done well, sir. So will you come? I will think about it, sir. Okay, please. Make sure you come. I will be expecting you, Jenny. All right, sir. I will try my best. Oh my god how did i get into your bedroom dr richard sir so you drugged me and raped me now i see so everything was just a plan you deceived and invited me over to your house just to rape me oh i'm dead dr richard you have killed me oh blood covenant ah I'm finished. What have I done to deserve all this? Why me? Why me? So this is how I will die because of blood covenant. Ah, so this was a dream my mother told me some time ago. Ah, Dr. Richard has killed me. It will never be well with you, Dr. Richard. And for raping me, I place a curse on you. All your children and sisters shall become victims of rape. The wicked shall never go unpunished. Hello, my name is Dr. Freeman. I'm calling from General Hospital. How are you, sir? I'm fine. And how can I help you? Hope I'm speaking with Caleb. Yes, I'm Caleb. Sir, your attention is needed right now in the hospital. Right now? Why? Your fiancée Jennifer is right here in the hospital. Eh? Jennifer in the hospital? Why? What happened to her? She was brought to the hospital by a friend. We have conducted a series of tests to detect what's actually wrong with her. But nothing was found in her body and she's dying slowly. Ah, no, 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 no. This can't be true. Sir, she said you are the closest person to her. So she gave us your number. Sir, please find your way to the hospital now. I'm coming there right now. Jennifer, what happened to you? Please, doctor, excuse us. Caleb, please forgive me. It was all my fault. The worst mistake I made in my life was to accept doing a blood covenant with you. Had it been I said no when you brought this issue of blood covenant, all this wouldn't have happened. I don't understand. What are you saying? Another terrible mistake I made was saying no to you. When asked for a breakup, please find a place in your heart to forgive me. Please talk to me. What happened to you? I have broken the blood covenant. What? How? Caleb, I was raped. Raped? When? Where? 
How? As in by who? By the same man who proposed to marry me some time ago. He invited me over to his house for a birthday party. He drugged me and raped me. Oh my God. Hello, Kellen. Jennifer is there. 